What's going on YouTube? Wildline Games here and we are back with some Casey Powell Lacrosse 18 in our National Lacrosse Association League which is a mix of MLL and PLL teams. Right now we have the number one Denver Outlaws taking on the number eight Chaos. Kind of a down season for the Chaos. Uh, Denver's got a pretty easy schedule going into the latter half or not even the latter half, the end of the season here. So this is a uh, Week 15, we have the Chaos, the Chrome, and the Lizards to play. So here we go, face-off, and Troy Kopp is going to win another face-off. He is the number one face-off man in the league right now. I don't know, his percentage has got to be in the 80s, or like high 80s, low 90s. Denver's passing the ball around the crease, weaving in and out of traffic. And Boyer shoots and scores. Let's take a look at this on the replay here. Moving around. Mm, that's a tough shot to defend if you're a goalie right there, especially when you're shielded by your own defender. So the chaos, they have the ball down at there, and here's Miles Thompson. Dumps it back out to Salcedo. Connor Fields has it. Looking to make a move back to Miles Thompson, who comes up top, and Deemer Class shoots just a little wide, unable to do anything there. So Outlaw is playing good defense here. Miles Thompson, ooh, and he gets hit. Ref throws a flag, they got a free shot on goal, and Denver's going to have to play with a man down with an uh, illegal check to the back, and there'll be a man down for 30 seconds here. Let's take a look at this again on the replay. Misses the shot, that's alright, so here's a chance for the Chaos to tie this thing up at one. Pretty low scoring game, so our Miles Thompson, what a save by the Outlaws goalie here, and then Josh Byrne is going to step into the crease, trying to clear the ball back up top here come the outlaws up 1-0 the chaos had possession down there but man unfortunately they just couldn't do anything with it so the outlaws have a chance to extend their lead and tyler boyer two shots two goals nice shot here whips this thing around again really tough to defend that as a goalie denver up 2-0 Ryder cochran shoots and ooh, right off the pipe i thought he got top shelf but uh, off the pipe, and here come the chaos on a fast break. Troy Ray, the long pole, he's coming in. No one's stepping up, and he shoots and scores. Troy Ray for the chaos brings it within one. No one stepped up to defend the deep pole, and he comes in, takes the easy shot. Basically one-on-one -on -one with the goalie because uh, all the defense is just standing around watching. So low scoring so far. We jump into the second quarter here, 2-1 by the Outlaws. And a nice little weave. Dumps it off to Josh Glovers. Who pinballs it back into the bottom corner of the net. That's a tough, I mean, great shot placement by the Outlaws today. They're being very, they're not taking a whole lot of shots. But they're being very efficient with their shot taking. Here's Jankowski over to Connor Castle who shoots and scores. 4-1 to one Outlaws over the Chaos. And at first, when it was 2-1 to one in the first, I really thought we were about to see a repeat of last week or uh, a few days ago when we barely beat the number seven seed and uh, now we got the number eight, eight seed, eight rank. I'm used to playoffs, man. I'm used to play. I keep calling them seeds. They're not seeds, but good defense by Jack Rowlett. Passes it up to Ryan Neary and they're moving quick up the field. Here's Mike Bocklet finds Miles Thompson who shoots and he finds the bag of the net. We got to look at this again. I thought the Outlaws might have saved it, but what a beautiful shot. Looks like it bounced right off his stick into the goal. You know he's disappointed about that. 4-2. to two. Little over halfway through the second quarter here. And here's Castle who shoots. What a save by the Chaos Keeper. Glovers is going to get the ground ball. Comes back in. Takes a diving shot and scores. My goodness. Glovers with the athletic move. Reaching out and look at that placement. Perfect, perfect placement on the shot. Impossible to save, especially when he's diving out like that. What a, that's a top play. That is a top play. We're gonna look at that on SportsCenter later this month. So that is actually gonna end the first half. Very low scoring, only five to two, especially when you consider last game's, or uh, the last game was like what, 17, uh, 13, or 19, 13, because we were one goal short of 20. So, Outlaws not scoring a whole lot, but they're dominating the game. Tyler Boyer, ooh, 
getting manhandled here. This chaos defense is stepping up. Here's Josh Glover to Jankowski who shoots and scores. He comes in off a of substitution. The defense doesn't catch him until too late. And he's got an easy bucket there with a nice little dump pass alley-oop. Outlaws up 6-2 and the chaos defense is pressuring they give up going for the ground ball, and Denver's going to maintain possession here, but the shot clock is winding down. 14 seconds and counting. Going to pass this off to Dan Sanders. Sanders trying to, trying to make something happen, but again, this chaos defense, Denver's running out of time. They're swarming the outlaws, and here's Max Snellenberg who gets wrecked. And no, that is not a foul. That is actually a shot clock violation by Denver, and the chaos now have the ball. Here's Mike Bocklet, Eric Preston. Chaos is moving the ball around, and this pass is going to be snagged by the goalie. Outlaws goalie having a great game so far. Only allowing two goals, quite a bit of saves, too. Max Snellenberg, quiet game so far, but he passes this to Ryder Cochran, who shoots and scores. Just as I said, Snellenberg's been quiet. He gets his first point of the day with an assist. Last week, he had five goals. And when I mean last week, I don't mean last game. I mean literally like two, you know, whenever. Like a week ago when I uploaded the video, Ryder Cochran with another one. Back to back. But they're going to say he steps in the crease. Let's take a look at this on replay. I didn't see it. I guess maybe his toe there after the shot. But I don't know. The ball's out. His back foot's in the ground. They're still going to say he uh, stepped on the crease. We tried the challenge, but the challenge failed. I don't know what the refs are looking at there, but... um. It should be eight to two. We lose a goal there. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not too happy about that call. But Tyler Boyer, he's gonna find Virgil Christensen. We talked about this on the last video. This is Dirk Nowitzki shot. He posts up in the corner. The defense forgets about him. He comes back across the middle of the crease and hits the back of the net, man. Every time, it's like clockwork. It is like clockwork for this outlaw offense. And here's Christensen the castle. Same positioning different guy Christensen the castle sharing the love out here and what did I say they stand in that pocket corner of the crease come back across the middle and score chaos obviously did not do their scouting report and here's castle to Snellenberg Snellenberg across the Glovers and nice save I think looks like the the shot got deflected here let's take a look Ooh, the deep hole swipes it as it comes out of the stick and what a lucky bounce into the goalie's uh, net there. Wow. Wow. So here's the chaos. They're down 9-2. to two And they shoot and score. Making this 9-3. to three. Struggling to find the back of the net today. Struggling to score. That's a tough side. Of, you know, underhand shot there. Eight minutes left in the game. I think it's safe to say the Outlaws have this one under wraps. And here's Jankowski over to Tyler Boyer. And... Chaos defense is swarming, but as they swarm, they leave. Glovers, what a save by the Chaos goalie. I thought that was an automatic goal. The goalie saves a beautiful shot. Glovers definitely wants that one back. Here's Snellenberg getting bullied, but works his way around the top of the crease. He shoots and scores. That's his first of the game. Also has an assist to his name. Really working that defense, just moving around. Chaos, man, they're very physical on defense, but it looks like they just kind of lack the speed. They lack the speed to keep up with the Outlaws. They're down 10-3, only a minute left. This game is pretty much over. A dominating performance, another save by Javier Kovac. And the Outlaws go on to win, and they will maintain their position in first place in the league. But it's going to be a tight race for that number one spot, because the next game we have the Chrome LC. Chrome LC is in second place. We have them next. It's going to be the battle for first because after that, we have the last place New York Lizards, and I think we can handle them just like we handle the chaos here. So, anyways, that was it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. If you like this one, hit the like button. All right, catch y'all later. Peace.